Hello everyone, welcome back to our Channel Dose Brain. Today we're diving into the intriguing world of romance and psychology. We'll be exploring six fascinating psychological facts about kissing. These aren't just simple pecks on the cheek or forehead. We're talking about the toll on the kind of kisses that make your heart flutter and your knees weak. The kind that play a crucial role in romantic relationships, fueled by the complex mechanics of our minds. So, are you ready to uncover the secrets behind those tender moments? Let's get started. Fact number one, did you know that kissing can actually reduce stress? That's right, those sweet, intimate moments shared with your special someone are not just about romance, but they also have a scientific underpinning. When you kiss, your brain is flooded with a rush of endorphins and oxytocin. These are the hormones responsible for creating feelings of happiness, joy, and a sense of calm. A good, passionate kiss is like a natural mood booster, and it doesn't stop there. Kissing also has the power to lower cortisol levels in your body. Cortisol, also known as the stress hormone, tends to elevate when we're under pressure or facing challenging situations. But when you're in the middle of a smooching session, cortisol takes a back seat and the resulting calmness is like a soothing balm for your mind and body. There's even scientific evidence to back this up. Various studies have shown a significant decrease in cortisol levels following a good smooch. Kissing is like a secret weapon against stress, a natural antidote to life's many pressures. So next time you're feeling stressed, you might just need a kiss. It's a fun and natural way to keep stress at bay. And it's also a wonderful way to connect with your partner. So why not pucker up and let the magical stress relieving power of a kiss work its wonders? Moving on to our second fact, kissing helps us choose the right partner. It might sound like a plot twist in a romantic comedy, but there's a wealth of psychological evidence to back it up. According to this theory, when we lock lips with someone, our brains are subconsciously evaluating them as a potential mate. It's a little like a silent interview where the questions are asked and answered through taste, smell, and touch. Taste, you ask? Yes, indeed. The taste of a person's lips can give us clues about their health and diet, which our brain translates into a scorecard for compatibility. And then there's the smell. Our noses are experts at detecting pheromones, those invisible chemical signals that communicate attraction. When we're up close and personal during a kiss, we're effectively taking a deep dive into someone's pheromone profile. The sense of touch also plays a crucial role. The feel of another person's skin against ours, the pressure of their lips, even the way they angle their head during a kiss. All these tactile nuances contribute to our overall impression of them as a potential partner. So if you've ever wondered why that first kiss with someone new can feel like such a big deal, now you know. It's not just about the butterflies in your stomach or the sparks flying, it's your brain running a sophisticated compatibility check in the background. So that first kiss might tell you more than you think. Our third fact might surprise you. Kissing can actually be addictive. Yes, you heard that right. But why, you ask? Well, let's dive into the science behind it. When we kiss, it triggers a cascade of neural messages and chemicals that transmit tactile sensations, sexual excitement, feelings of closeness, and yes, even euphoria. Central to this chemical cocktail are dopamine and serotonin, two neurotransmitters that are released in our brains. Dopamine is known as the feel-good neurotransmitter. It's responsible for feelings of pleasure and reward, which makes us feel happy and satisfied. It's the same chemical that gets released when we eat our favorite food or win a prize. So, when we kiss someone we are attracted to, dopamine gets released, making us crave more of that good feeling. Serotonin, on the other hand, helps regulate our mood. When we kiss, serotonin levels rise, leading to feelings of happiness and well-being. But here's the kicker. These elevated serotonin levels can drop when the action stops, causing us to crave more, much like what happens in addictive behavior. In a nutshell, our brains are wired to seek out and repeat pleasurable experiences, and the dopamine and serotonin released during a kiss certainly qualify. So if you can't get enough of your partner's kisses, now you know why. It's not just about the romantic connection, but also a fascinating dance of neurotransmitters that keep us coming back for more. Here's a fun one for our fourth fact. Kissing can actually help you burn calories. Yes, you heard it right. When you engage in a passionate kiss, you're not just expressing your affection, you're also giving your body a mini workout. Now, before you start swapping your gym membership for a dating app subscription, let's put it into perspective. A passionate kiss can burn anywhere from two to five calories per minute. 
That's right, each minute you're locking lips, you're also shedding a few calories. That's equivalent to walking at a moderate pace or even slowly swimming. But here's the interesting part. The more passionate the kiss, the more calories you burn. So if you're really into it, you could be burning more calories than you think. And while it might not seem like a lot, think about how this can add up over time. Let's say, for instance, you kiss your partner for 10 minutes a day. That's potentially 50 calories burned in the name of love. Over a week, you could burn 350 calories, which is the equivalent of a small chocolate bar or a glass of wine. Over a year, well, you do the math. So for those of you who are particularly fond of kissing, there's some good news. Not only does it feel great and bring you closer to your partner, it also contributes to your physical health. Who knew romance could be part of your fitness routine? Our fifth fact is a bit of a health tip. Kissing can boost your immunity. Now we know what you might be thinking, how can swapping spit possibly be good for the health? Well, it's all about exposure to germs. You see, when you kiss someone, you're introducing your body to a whole new set of microscopic critters. This might sound icky, but in fact, it's a good thing. Your immune system works by learning to recognize and fight off different germs, and the more exposure it gets, the better it becomes at this job. It's a bit like training a muscle. The more you work it out, the stronger it gets. Now let's add some science into the mix. There have been studies that show couples who kiss frequently are less likely to get sick. One study published in the journal Microbiome found that couples who kissed at least nine times a day shared similar communities of oral bacteria, suggesting that their immune systems had adapted to deal with the same set of germs. Another study from the Netherlands Organization for Applied Scientific Research found that a 10-second kiss can transfer as many as 80 million bacteria. While that might sound like a lot, remember that not all bacteria are harmful. Many are essential for our health, and exposing our bodies to a diverse range of them can help to strengthen our immune system. So not only is kissing fun, it's good for your health too. And finally, our sixth fact, kissing can strengthen your relationship. Let's dive into it. Kissing is more than just a physical act. It's an intimate moment that promotes bonding and fosters a sense of connection between two people. When you kiss your partner, you're not just sharing a physical touch, you're sharing a moment of emotional closeness that can deepen your bond. What's more, science backs this up. Studies have shown that couples who kiss often report higher levels of satisfaction in their relationships. This is because kissing triggers the release of oxytocin, often called the love hormone. This hormone promotes feelings of affection and attachment, helping you feel closer to your partner. But it's not just about the chemistry. Kissing also communicates love and commitment to your partner. It's a gesture that says, I care about you and I want to be close to you. This can help build trust and security in a relationship, making it stronger and more resilient. And there's more. Kissing can also help resolve conflict. When you're in a disagreement with your partner, a simple kiss can help ease tension and open up lines of communication. It's a gentle reminder of your love for each other, even in the midst of conflict. So whether it's a quick peck before heading out the door, a passionate kiss during a romantic moment, or a comforting kiss after a tough day, these small acts of love can have a big impact on the strength and happiness of your relationship. So keep the kisses coming for a strong, happy relationship. And there you have it six fascinating psychological facts about kissing. From stress relief and partner selection to calorie burning and immunity boosting, not forgetting the addictive nature and relationship strengthening powers of a kiss. It's really quite amazing when you stop to consider the multifaceted impacts of this simple act of affection. So the next time you lean in for a smooch, remember these intriguing insights. What are your thoughts on these facts? Do you have any interesting kissing stories to share? Drop your comments below and don't forget to subscribe for more intriguing videos. Until next time, keep spreading the love with those kisses.